Hello everyone, I'm Liesl from Langmaster Learning System. For today's video, I'll tell you a fascinating story about Albert Einstein's childhood. But before jumping in, please subscribe to our channel. Albert Einstein is considered one of the most brilliant people in history. There were signs of his genius from the earliest days of his life. Albert was born into a family that already had its fair share of smart people. His father, Herman, had been an excellent student with a particular gift for mathematics. Albert's mother, Pauline, came from a very successful family. Her father made a fortune selling grain. Albert, Herman and Pauline's first child, was born on March 14, 1879, in the southern German town of Ulm. Albert's birthday is also Pi Day, March 14th, or 3.14 for Pi. 3.14 is a special number in math and science. Right from the start, there was something very different about him. He rarely spoke for the first few years of his life. Whereas most children began to talk by about the age of Two. When Albert finally began to talk, he had a strange habit of saying sentences very softly over and over again to himself. It was as if he was trying them out before he let anyone else hear them. This habit troubled some of the people around him. The woman that the Einsteins hired as a maid even called him the dopey one. However, she and many others would soon discover that little Albert was about as far from dopey as anyone could be. One of the most important moments in Albert's childhood happened when he was about five. He became ill and had to stay in bed for a time. While there, his father gave him a compass as a gift. Young Albert was utterly fascinated by this. He was enthralled by the fact that 
the compass's needle was reacting to an invisible force rather than some other object touching or moving it. And it wasn't enough that he was fascinated by it. He wanted to know how it happened and why it happened. One of the challenges Albert faced because of his unusual way of thinking was that it made him different from others his age. While most boys would spend a sunny afternoon outside playing ball, Albert would sit and wonder about all sorts of things. He would try to carry out scientific experiments in his head, seeing them clearly as images rather than in terms of words or ideas. For example, he thought about how gravity's effect on him would change if he was standing inside an elevator that was rapidly falling. He would wonder, would I still be affected by gravity? And would I still be standing on the elevator floor? What would be holding me there? I have no special talent. I am only passionately curious. Albert Einstein said at the Saturday Evening Post in 1929. Albert also spent hours by himself playing with his favorite toys. One was a set of building blocks from which he would make a complex and unusual structure. He also had a small engine powered by steam that he received from an uncle. He would watch the engine work and then try to figure out the scientific principles behind it. It was all part of a powerful curiosity he had about the world and how it worked. This would be the driving force throughout his life. By the time Albert was ready to start school, he and his family had moved to the German city of Munich. Albert had one sibling. His younger sister, Maria, nicknamed Maya. She was often his only friend during his otherwise lonely childhood. Albert was teased by the other children for being different. This made him feel lonely, but it also helped him to look at the world differently. He became determined to uncover the secrets behind the invisible forces of life. Albert soon developed into a very independent boy who wasn't afraid 
to question anyone or anything. As his first year of school approached, young Albert was more than ready. The real question was whether or not the schools in Munich were ready for him. That's all for today, guys. I hope that this lesson has been helpful for you. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. And in case you want to know more about our English courses, please leave your phone number and your email address in the comment box below. I'm Liesl from Langmaster Learning System. Goodbye.